Hey everybody, special thanks to our sponsor, Kinetic Impact Airsoft, and their upcoming event, Corporate Wars Blood Money 2. It's going to be at D14 Airsoft to Sanger, Texas, April 14th, 2024. If you use the link in the description below and code MUDDY down there, you will get $5 off your ticket every time you use the code. And every time someone purchases a ticket, it does go to help the channel, which is going to be awesome, beneficial for me, and Kinetic Impact. It also helps you to get a discount for the event. If you like the idea of a Milsim Light event, if you're new to the Milsim world and you're new to events and you don't want to do a 40 hour slog fence, this is going to break you off. Definitely give these guys a look. I think you're going to have a great time. Again, use code MUDDY at the link below. $5 off. Now, on to the review. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another MUDDY Reviews. Today, we're checking out a replica AVS flat. This one is supposed to be for a JPC 2.0. It's supposed to be a 556 triple. And it was supposed to be Ranger Green, but it's OD Green. Hey. Uh, when I say supposed to, supposed to on the other two, um, kind of your hint that it's not great in either department. This did come from Amazon. I picked it up. It was supposed to come quick. A lot of supposed is in this video. We were trying to get it fast enough for a Veterans Day weekend game so my son could switch between MP5 placard and this thing so he could go back and forth between two different calibers. And it didn't quite work out. I will say the material, not very nice. It's a little shiny. can't even tell if this is actually Cordura. If it is, it's kind of a eh Cordura. It doesn't quite feel like 500 per se, but it might be. It's definitely not a thousand. It's very thin. It feels like cheap Cordura. A little lash down here is they're sewn in really well. I will give them that. And then you've got the webbing reinforcements on the top of the flaps, much like our MP5's pouches from uh, Pew Tactical. It's got three large grain drain grommets at the bottom. That is good. And then these are uh, pretty decent back here. The little grass grain ribbon with the Velcro sewn to them. This is going to sound strange, but the Velcro feels just a little too toothy. I know that sounds weird, but the other stuff doesn't feel nearly as, like, scratchy. Now, this is what I don't like about it. Right out the gate. We have three magazines here. We have a G&G, &G, GI style. We have the L5 Lancer style. These are the shorties that are airsoft sizes. Then we got a Matrix P Mag. We're going to go from right to left this way. G and G, GI style magazine. It fits. Tight fit, but it fits. We've got the Lancer. Pretty good fit. We got the Matrix P Mag. Jesus. Yeah, no, it ain't gonna go in. It doesn't want to go in. So P mags apparently are a no go for this thing, which is really weird. I I can't even understand why that's the case. These should be P mags should fit fine, but they don't. That's disappointing because whole point was to run this with P mags. It's really tight, even with the GI mags. Now the Lancers actually fit pretty well. So this thing was definitely designed for and off of your small little airsoft magazines. That sucks. That sucks for like so many different reasons. I'm not impressed by this thing at all. I thought it'd be okay. When I fit it to the JPC, it was a little wide, a little wider than I expected. And it didn't really want to go on that well. Now, I will say, I will try to get, no, I don't need to buy it. I'm going to grab the JPC and I'm going to put it on for you. All right, JPC is on the scene. So this is the Pew Tactical. And see, it's not as creepy. Considerably nicer flap in all intents and purposes. I'm not even going to install it all the way because I'm fucking lazy. But, um, so you see the few tactical, it sits really nice, it's very equal to the plate bag, it looks good. This big old mamma jamma, it's kind of bulky looking compared to the few tactical. It just kind of, not fully, but it just feels, feels bulkier. It feels like it kind of just stiffer and fits outside the plate bag a little bit. Doesn't look as nice, not nearly as nice. The OD definitely clashes with the Ranger Green, but the biggest issue, I mean, all that... Easily overlooked, easily bypassed. 
that's that's why uh, God made spray paint. Uh, but at the end of the day, the biggest issue is the fact that it won't hold P Max and barely hold standard GI Max. So it's a it's a loss. It's not a good it's not a good product and it's not a good flat. So somebody who runs simple airsoft mags is gonna love it because they're gonna get this thing really cheap because I'm gonna sell it at the swap meet at the field uh, coming up. So they'll get themselves a nice cheap AVS style flap in OD green. So yep, that is this guy here. Um, I don't even have the name, name of the company who made it. We will put up a picture where we got this off Amazon so you guys can see who actually supposedly made this. Final thoughts, the OD green material is extremely shiny. It's definitely kind of that, eh, kind of mid. The hook is really abrasive feeling compared to the other hook. I know that sounds silly, but it just feels gross. The material doesn't even feel that good. The mag pouches are a little off spec. They don't even hold P-mags. It looks the part. It just doesn't seem to fit the part. It's not a good product in my opinion, and we won't be using it again, and we definitely won't be keeping it and uh, running this thing because it's just not going to even function enough well enough to even give it a good test. So it's going to go right into a bin after this video. And I'm going to say this is a big downvote for us over here at Money Reviews because it's not even that great. Hope you got something out of this review. In my opinion, steer clear of this product. It's not that great. If you're going to get yourself a replica AVS product, Pew Tactical is the way to go. As always, sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Larp harder, not smarter. Get out there, play some airsoft. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the field. Peace.